In this video, I'll explain how to create and maximize the spin on the ball and why it is important to understand this to improve your loop. Road to Pro. I am so grateful that I have received many positive comments from the backend and forehand drive videos, and there were many requests to do a loop tutorial. And as much as I want to do a loop tutorial, I must give an idea how we can create strong spin before I talk about loops. Because understanding the mechanism of spin is important before you actually start to learn how to loop. So here we go. The pedal has two components, which are rubbers and blades. Both have great roles to spin the ball, but in this video, I'll mainly cover how the friction on the rubber is maximized depending on the angle of the pedal and the direction of the swing pad. Let me give you three kinds of swings that people perform. Which swing do you think will create the strongest topspin? And do you know which way you swing when you loop the ball? Yes, swing number three creates the strongest topspin. But so many starters who are struggling with their loops swing like one, and often they don't even know that they are doing so. So people who are doing swing one really need to know that they are doing so first, then break it down to fix before their muscles learn it. This is typical mistake people struggle with when it comes to loop or chop and is an inefficient way to add spin on the ball. And there are several reasons why they are swinging in such ways. First, they didn't understand how to create spin uh, and how to drive the, drive the ball efficiently. Yeah, I'll make right. another video about driving the ball to help you understand. Because if you really understand forehand or backhand drive, techniques such as loop and smash follow along. Like but many want to skip the basics and jump into advanced techniques. And here are some other reasons. They have seen professional players closing the pedal in the preparation. They want to create more spin by closing the pedal. After they swing, the angle of the pedal didn't recover when preparing for the next loop. In addition, many of the people also wait for the ball to fall to loop because they are so far from the table and as they swing, they realize they can't hit the ball over the net so they try to open the pedal and in some cases, people slow down the swing too. This is also one of the typical reasons why people keep hitting the side of the pedal. But don't worry, because if you really understand the concept of how you can create spin, you will be able to fix it before it's too late. Rubber has two components, which are top sheet and sponge. The top sheet mainly causes friction on the contact and sponge acts like spring to rebounce the ball. Basically, the rubber gets squeezed when the ball contacts the ball. And the deeper the ball goes into the rubber, the more rebound it will get. Now, swing one finishes the swing as it opens up and the direction of the follow through force is applied upwards where it should have been forward and rolls towards the bottom relative to initial contact which unspins the ball rather. You may have some top spin but you would be spending much more energy for less spin. Remember that although there is no right answer, I always do emphasize that there is a more efficient way to transfer the energy to the ball. And that's what everyone should think about. Second swing will have its initial contact and the direction of the force remain the same. And the third swing will apply the force forward which is aligned with the ball's direction and our goal to hit the table and roll over the top of the ball which is essential to create top spin. In such a case, the ball will squeeze the rubber and the sponge deeper to touch more surface at the contact thus getting the most rebound and friction it can get. So getting the extra top spin by closing your pedal right after the contact to apply the force forward engages maximum potential of the rubber. But remember that this is a very short period of time so you don't need to change the angle too much. More isn't always good. Whether compact is preferred for efficiency. I really wanted to go over this part as most beginners try the first swing. The most common reason for that is they want very strong top spin, so they try to close their pedal at the beginning of their stroke. However, right. first swing takes so much effort to loop to engage both the rubbers hard, and blade. Yes, if the pedal is closed, it has more potential to squeeze the rubber more but to create that amount of swing speed with the right angle for the ball to be deep enough till it reaches the blade, plus to be consistent, is almost impossible for beginners. It is very hard or inefficient to swing that way and hit the ball, especially when it's falling, which most beginners tend to do. Here are two simple self practices you can do to feel and understand how these work. Place your right foot next to the end line with 45 cents, then drop the ball in front of your right hips and let it bounce and catch the ball when it's falling. Try to see if the ball makes good up. Don't forget to shift your weight and transfer the energy from your body. Then, stand a little distance from the table and toss the ball gently and do the same. And see if you can still make a good up. Then, put into real practice. 
thanks for watching this video and I hope this was helpful for y'all.